I wanted to get a little bit closer so you guys could see. But anyways, right here, uh, this air fitting doesn't come with it. It's just a brass fitting. And then you have to, this set up here, you have to buy these and put them on. But this has an on and off shut off switch right here. So you can, if you're gonna do something with your air hose, you can take it off here. And if you need to change this end, you can shut it off here and it makes it really handy. And then this regulator here is your up and down where it'll go higher or lower in pressure. And then as you can see right here, this is your drain. This will drain all the water out. And then this nut here, you can unscrew to pull out, come on, focus. Sorry about that. This nut here, you can pull this off and then this drops down the filter so you can pull the filter right out of the uh, bottom of the filter assembly. And then uh, I'm not sure what this one is right here. This one I think is so you can run another line out of it or something. I'm not, I gotta read up on that when I find my directions. But I'm really happy with this, the way it's been working. And uh, it was really easy to hook up. This one here, I already had on my compressor. I put this fitting in here and uh, made up this hose. This hose doesn't come with it. And this keeps constant pressure all the time. So I, I went ahead and made this hose here and just used two hose clamps with a barb fitting on this side and got it set up. And uh, I've been noticing there's not a lot of water coming out of the air hose like there used to be. And now eventually, after using it a while, there's no water coming out of it, which is awesome. And if you have a compressor, one of the things that you wanna do is instead of crawling up underneath the compressor all the time, it's a lot easier if you just run a some pipe over and then have an on off valve. And what this is is just to let air out and you just open it wide open, all the water will dump out. And you see I could, I brought this over this way and then turned it back so I can, I could always kind of monitor how much uh, water or condensation is coming out of the bottom of the compressor because you don't wanna, you know, I've seen it where compressors have got this, this full, almost halfway full of water and they're just going on and off, on and off all day long because people don't do any maintenance on them. But, uh, this is a, made by Central Pneumatic. It's sold at Harbor Freight, part number 68247. I forget the price on this. Uh, it was pretty reasonable, and I got it with a coupon and everything, so it ended up being really cheap. And one of the other things is it has a single hole, right? It's gonna be kind of hard to see. There's a bracket back here, and then there's a bolt that you can run a, a carriage bolt, or a, a bolt, a screw, through the back of it, like a lag screw, and screw it right into one of your studs on your wall, and then, and then it makes it nice and strong. It doesn't wiggle or nothing like that, or rattle when the compressor is going. But anyways, highly recommended if you have a paint shop or some kind of automotive place, or even a home hobby shop, and you're using air all the time. This is the way to go. Get one of these, and then that way, you know, all your air tools they're not getting beat up by all the uh, condensation or water that's going through them, and. Uh, I think there's also a setup that you can get where it's an automatic oiler, if I remember correctly. But I have, you'd have to check into it. Um, I don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like the uh, video, please give me a thumbs up. If you give me a thumbs down, please tell me why. You know, if there's something that I did wrong or whatever, I can change it. Um, you know, kind of revamp the video. I, I'm trying to perfect my videos or make them a little bit better. And, uh, you know, I got to know if, if I'm doing something wrong, you guys got to let me know. But uh, thanks for watching. Please sub to my channel. Take care.